I remember this being explained to me by Evans Pritchard in person, which was a great privilege. He said that when you kill a large animal in Africa, you need two spears. The first spear will stop the animal in its tracks, and the second spear, which you deliver presumably from closer, will actually kill it. And he said this is like two levels of causation. There is how something happens, the proximate events, the events that lead up to the actual occurrence, and then there is the longer term why. One is factual, one is moral. And to give two examples, the one he famously gives in his book is that when uh, someone is walking under a, a building, a granary, a heavy granary, suddenly it falls down and kills them. Now afterwards people say, well, why were they killed? And people will say, well, obviously everyone knew that granary was unsafe. The white ants had been eating away at it, going to fall one day, and he was walking under when it did so. But that's why it fell. I mean, that's how it fell down. But why did it fall just as he, no one else, was walking underneath? And then you examine social relations, preceding events, and you discover that this person had fallen out with that person who was a reputed witch, and you go to the oracles, and you put your questions to them, and the oracles say, yes, he was bewitched, and that's why he was killed. Another nice example is of a clergyman who went to his bishop in Africa complaining that he was ill and that he had malaria. And the bishop said, yes, yes, you've got malaria, and what's wrong? And he said, well, I've been bewitched. And he said, well, you've got malaria. You know what causes malaria. It's mosquitoes. And the clergyman said, yes, I know, but who sent the mosquito? Why me? So the point of this is that, as Evans Pritchard explained, witchcraft is addressed to the why question. Why me? Why now? And the answer is given through a personal mechanism. Someone who dislikes you, has a grudge against you, has a reason for doing this. And indeed, this is in many ways satisfying because it gives a motive, it gives a reason, and it possibly gives you counteraction. You can try and deal with that person and stop them doing anything more. Whereas if it's sheer chance, random chance, then there's nothing you can do about it. Now the strange thing to a large extent about the modern world is that in many parts of the world we accept that a great amount of sickness, illness, pain, suffering, misfortune occurs by chance. We don't ask on the whole if you get cancer or if you have a car crash, was there a witch involved or a spirit or God? We accept that we don't really know why that happened to me at that time. And you may rail against it and you may pray to avoid it but you don't really blame another sentient being, whether it's a god or a spirit or the witches. In most civilizations, historically and small societies, people have felt it must have been caused by someone with a, a motive, a purpose. Now, that distinction explains a great deal, though it leaves open the question of why in the later 17th, 18th century many people began to accept chance, causation, to accept that there was no real reason why they had been made ill. But it also throws light on uh, the big debate of, about religion and science, because those who argue that science will replace and is answering the same questions as religion, I think are mis misleading people like Dawkins because religion is to do with the why questions. Why we are as we are, where we're going, why humans emerged, um, all sorts of deep philosophical questions. Whereas science is dealing with the how questions. They overlap in such things as the origin of the universe, but to a large extent they're dealing with different questions. And therefore, to a large extent, science doesn't replace religion. It's talking about different things and dealing, dealing with mysteries which science can't really deal with and vice versa. So we need importantly to distinguish them and the history of witchcraft helped me to understand that important distinction.